Welcome to Go On Shaw TV. I'm Craig Momney and with the current situation in Fort McMurray, it's great to see how much this city has really come together. We'll meet up with a volunteer to find out what it means to be a volunteer as well as tell you how you can become a volunteer. Also on this episode of Go, we meet the Edmonton Emergency Management to find out if you're 72 hour ready for an evacuation. But first, what does a samurai, a mankini and a signed guitar from Gene Simmons all have in common? Doug Roxburgh has a comparison. Welcome back to Go. Joining me now is Sean McSweeney, one of the supervisors here at the Donation Center in Edmonton. Sean, where are we right now exactly? Uh, we're at 3870 uh, 98th Street here in uh, Edmonton. So what's going on inside this building right now? We're taking uh, donations here. This is the drop-off center. Uh, we have tons of trucks coming in every day, lots of volunteers. You can see a car here behind me that's donating right now. Uh, it's a warehouse full of everything from uh, new clothes, used clothes, used everything. Uh, we have lots of diapers. Uh, anything that uh, the evacuees need, we're sending out to our uh, Kingsway Old Target location for uh, distributing. Tell me how the how much support has been from the people of Edmonton here. <laughs> the sorts, uh, the... Oh. It's been amazing. A uh, lot of support, a uh, lot of volunteers coming in. Uh, we definitely could use a lot more here. Uh, but uh, the people that come in, we have uh, a lot of recurring volunteers. Uh, we've been at it now for just over two weeks. And uh, the sort of support from uh, people just donating whatever they can or people who can't donate items, donating their time. It's been amazing. Now, I, I know you said earlier there's a lot of stuff here in this warehouse. Is there anything that maybe you do need and don't need right now? Uh, definitely we need new clothes. Uh, we're in desperate need of toiletries. Uh, more toiletries, the better. Uh, that's pretty much it. We, uh, like, like I said, new clothes, toiletries. I'm trying to think what else we got in there. Water. Just pretty yeah. much the basic needs. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So if somebody does want to donate, what can they do? Uh, they can drop it off here again at 3870 uh, 98th Street. Uh, this is our drop-off location. And you, like you said, you need toiletries, but you also need volunteers. Yes. We're going to find out more about the volunteer opportunities here in Edmonton. But right now, as we saw earlier, a number of evacuees grabbed some of the most rare items. In this next story, I ask you, in case of an evacuation, are you ready for the first 72 hours? Welcome back to Go. Still with me is Sean McSweeney, one of the supervisors here at the Drop-In Center for Donations. What does it mean to be a volunteer, Sean? <laughs> That's a tough question, but to be a volunteer, it means to help out, especially in times like this. Uh, volunteers are desperately needed. Uh, it's just everyone here that has been a volunteer. It, it's a sense of just companionship and the whole Alberta strong. It just there's been a couple times where I wanted to cry uh, at all the stuff that's uh, all the people that have been helping out, and it just means to to become a be a community which we really need. And it's definitely a tough time for people from Fort McMurray. I know personally, because I am from Fort McMurray as well. Yeah. For those who want to volunteer, what kind of jobs can they do around here? Uh, we have uh, most, uh, the biggest need is uh, people to sort. Uh, we have a lot of sorting that needs to be done. Uh, specialty things like forklift drivers, if they have their ticket, we, we need uh, forklift drivers. Anyone that has to do with uh, maybe like health and safety, but there really is no credentials. The only credential is no open-toed so, open souls. So what locations are we volunteering at? Because this is one of them, but there's many yes. around uh, Edmonton, right? Uh, right now there's this place, which is 3870 98th Street, and the other one is the former Target at Kingsway Mall. And what are they doing there? Uh, that's where the evacuees are going, the families are going to pick up things uh, that they need. So it's a distribution center, uh, again, some sorting going on there, but just helping the families, a lot of shoppers taking the families through and getting what they need. And lastly, for those who do want to, uh, to, who do want to volunteer, where can they go? They can come here or they can go to the former Target at Kingsway Mall. This is where we desperately need everybody. Amazing. Thank you very much for being on the show today, Sean. Thank you. Right now we have some information for grade 12s who were displaced by the fires in terms of scholarships. I think it's safe to say that I can represent everyone in Fort McMurray when I say thank you to all the volunteers and everyone that has donated. What we just saw in that warehouse is really heartfelt to know that this province has our backs. For those who want to volunteer, the information is right there on the bottom of your screen. For Go One Shot TV, I'm Craig Mogney.